Hi, it's John here with a quick video showing you how to update your Mysterium node onto the new Mysterium mainnet network. So if you followed my previous video or you already have a Raspberry Pi Mistberry node set up, then it's pretty simple actually to get up and running. What we need to do is basically just log into our node, our Raspberry Pi one here, and basically restart it and it should then automatically install the latest version. So I've just plugged in my HDMI cable just to get the IP address of my node. And as I can see here, it's saying here near the bottom, my IP address is 192.168.1.148. So I know I can go to PuTTY now and connect onto my node and do the reboot. So you could in theory just restart the Pi by powering off and powering back on, but that's not a very nice way of doing it. So let's do it properly. I'm gonna connect to it via putty, log in with the user mist and our password. The default password, if you haven't changed it, is mistberry. So once we're logged in, we're just going to type reboot. We're actually just going to type sudo reboot. And the server is rebooting. So if we now switch back to HDMI, we should now see it starting back up again. Okay, so we're now started back up again, so that's good to see. So now we can switch back to the main computer. And now what we need to do is log in to the new site here, which is mistnodes.com. Now they have migrated all our accounts to mistnodes.com. So you can just log in with your usual mysterium.network account. So I've actually already logged in here. So now what I need to do is add a new node. Now there's multiple ways you can do this. You can do it through here, but I'm gonna actually log in to the web interface of the node and do it from there just for fun. Okay, so we are on the web interface of our Raspberry Pi node here. What we need to do is just go into the settings and pop in our API key from mistnode.com. Right, so we need to get our API key as seen here. Let's try and get it without any spaces on. We're gonna copy this and then we're just gonna paste this into our Raspberry Pi section here and then we can click save we can see here on the main net one version 1.01 so we're going to click on save and we should now be speaking to the main net so let's go back across and just refresh the page and we can see our node is showing up here probably just need to give it a few moments for it to register itself so the reason I switched over to my phone to show this part is because my browser was playing up and I couldn't actually get the uh, web UI to load up. But it always loads fine from my phone, so it's easy enough just to obviously copy and paste the API from mistnodes.com into here. And hopefully in a few moments, if I just refresh again. Okay, and after a few minutes, it has now shown up as online. I suggest if you don't actually get the online to appear, just maybe give your node another reboot for it to uh, re-register itself that it is working again. And that's it basically, that is how you get yourself migrated across to the mainnet. Okay, so the only things to bear in mind now are once you've migrated, are that now you're on the new mainnet system, your earnings will show as zero pretty much. So if you had say 10 missed in your uh, previous mysterium.network account, that won't show up in the new misknowns account because this is a brand new start. And you will now get paid directly from people who use your node. So you'll then be able to withdraw manually. I won't go into the whole detail here, but uh, you can read up on it. But yeah, this is just to show, for example, once I've migrated my other node across, the mist I've earned here will stay in the old system and will get paid, as it says here, on the 1st of December. I think they pay a few days after the 1st. And it will then appear in here on the list as a new mistnodes.com node with zero earnings. Right, so I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do click on the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. I will be doing some updates to show exactly how much I'm earning from my nodes. I've got this one set to only whitelisted traffic currently, and I've got my other node, which I can't currently migrate because there's active sessions on it. But I've got that one doing all traffic and we'll just compare the two and just see how they are. But if you've got any questions at all, please do leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'm not a Mysterium node expert, but I will try my best. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.